Hi my beautiful Tauruses, welcome to my channel Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten and I have your uh, your love and romance reading for the month of March. This is a uh, general reading so not all messages will apply. It is directed towards Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Tauruses, single or a couple. So I may see several different scenarios um, on all gamuts. I'll try not to confuse you. I'm going to give you the energy of the card and how it relates to your scenario. Uh, hopefully, like I, once again, I don't hope you guys don't get confused. Um, but I just want to make sure that whatever message comes out, that I deliver it. And I'll try to do that in as organized a manner as I can. Please hit the like button. If you like this video, if you like my readings, please hit the like button. Let me know. Support my channel. You can leave a donation. Um, there are uh, There's a donation button in the description box below. If you like a personalized reading, same thing. You can contact me via email for my rates and availability. And uh, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get going. Um, to start your reading out, we have the uh, Five of Pentacles and the uh, Old Lady from the um, using the will of the year tarot and the la vera sibylla so five of pentacles tells me single or a couple you may be feeling some kind of neglect um, in your relationship you may feel like you have a, uh, a soulmate connection a strong uh, strong uh, legacy type feelings a long lasting relationship or a potential for a long lasting relationship and uh, but now you feel like you're separated from that or uh, you could be fearful that in the future you will be how will you take care of yourself how will you support yourself um, without this person could be uh, some of your feelings some of you may be feeling that um, I thought this relationship was going to last and um, it failed to do so and now I'm stuck out here in the cold by myself and um, and I'm, I'm you know I'm sorrowful and I miss this person so uh, these are some of the energies and uh, the theme of the reading okay that you could be going through and so I'm sensing that there is a strong love connection, a strong connection with someone that has uh, either had has long-lasting potential, has lasted a long time, or it has that potential, but um, there is separation from that or fear of separation from that, okay? This, these cards here at the top represent the past situation. Cards in the center represent the current situation um, at the bottom the future situation that you'll find yourself in to the side we have the uh, challenge or influence and um, to the left we have uh, advice and counsel from spirit so the issue is that currently there's some sort of imbalance a lack of structure or a broken relationship Okay, so there's either imbalance in a relationship, a lack of structure, uh, no parameters in a relationship, uh, there's not a commitment yet, um, or there is a broken relationship. So any of those scenarios could apply to you, whatever your situation. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of potential for this relationship because this is a good relationship here, this is being in a good place. Um... And even when reversed, the Four of Wands is still a card, meaning that there's, there is um, a lot of good in this card, even if it's reversed. But right now, things are out of harmony, and um, someone is not happy. Um, if there's an imbalance going on here. And uh, or a disagreement, a failure to truce, to agree, a failure to um, be on the same page, to come to an agreement, and um, you know, let me just say the issues that I'm seeing, okay, real quick. Let me just go over scenarios I'm seeing so far. 
I feel like for singles, there could be someone from your uh, someone that you have started a relationship with in the recent past. Okay, and I feel like this is a, a deep love bond for you. You feel like you found the one, possibly your soulmate, and um, you're feeling neglected by this partner. You could be feeling that they have found someone else, have another interest. Um, and uh, and I feel like uh, emotions may be overwhelming for both you or your partner, okay? Um, and that's what's led to this current situation of uh, a, a, a rocky a rocky relationship. It's it's strong. It's, it's got strong feelings, but it's not working out right now. It's not in harmony. If it's someone brand new um, that you have this strong attraction to, um, you may be feeling that you've lost their interest. Even though there was a mutual attraction, maybe you guys set a date or an, or setting a date or an appointment. There will be a postponement or there was a postponement, a failure to arrive. And now um, you're in your emotions about why this person um, didn't show up. Okay? Um, if you are in a relationship, it's a strong one, um, but you may be feeling that your partner is not spending enough time with you, neglecting you, uh, pulling away from you, all right? Now, um, this is a past position, and with Sibylla, um, sometimes the cards uh, give us uh, clues to what's going on. And as you can see, with the Queen of Wands, her finger points in this direction. Her finger, her other finger, also points um, in this direction to this card. Okay, to the reunion reversed. So let's first read uh, where it's pointing to. And I believe this is your energy, Taurus, and this is your partner's energy or person of interest. Um, and if you have no one, you want a new start, you want a new beginning, you want to find perfect love, and you may have a crush on someone whom you feel is uh, the one or the right one for you, represents the perfect ideal uh, person. Okay? So that's a, just another scenario real quick. So she's pointing in this direction, so the problem is, or the issue is, your, uh, your need for love, very strong, very powerful, very passionate, overwhelming. It could be a need for healing as well. Um, so I feel like uh, there's this, this clinginess, a cloyingness. Um, on your end, on your, from your energy, and they are, even though this is a highly absorbent energy, they have, they're pulling away, it's too much, it's overwhelming them, okay? You're coming up with, uh, your, your emotions are the problem. This clinginess is the problem, and, um, how you're expressing your emotions is the problem, Okay? Whatever, uh, whatever that is for you, however you're expressing it. Now, um, another problem is this reunion here. She points to below. Um, upright, this is, um, this would be like the Two of Cups in a sense. It would be a strong soulmate relationship, strong connection. There's promises being made to one another. There was a distance between you. Now you've come together or you're coming together. And uh, there's a promise that you'll stay together. Um, things won't be like before. We're, 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 we're together now on this. And um, I'm giving my all to you. That's a promise, right? Uh, there's also, this could represent um, two people meeting, coming together, dating, starting a relationship, a strong connection that begins. So it could also be an appointment or a date, right? That's upright. So it's reversed. The problem is that this relationship is not, you're not seeing eye to eye anymore. Um, 
there is a disagreement in this relationship. One of the partners or both have fallen out of love, but you're, you have these strong feelings, so I don't feel it's you. Um, so there could be unrequited love here. Um, going over a lot of different potentials, okay? And um, any of them could apply. Listen for what resonates. There might have been an appointment or a date made, and it was canceled or postponed. A promise was broken, or there was a failure to arrive at an agreement. And I say that because um, Four of Wands upright is, uh, is a balanced situation, is agreement, harmony um, in a relationship, um, is a successful meeting, a successful achievement, at being in a good place, a relationship that is on solid ground. Um, here, and it's usually, it can be a marriage or a live-in situation, something is strong and committed. Here is the reverse of that. So it's just this is the clarifier for this card. So it just goes deeper into what went wrong. All right. There was a lack of agreement. There was a postponement or a delay or someone didn't show up. Someone didn't keep a promise. Um, someone uh, someone's plans fell through. Um, and now the relationship is destabilized. Um, not coming together, not working out like it should, uh, it, it had all the potential to do so, right? And um, for some of you, uh, rela the relationship is breaking up or separating or there's divorce because of this this lack of agreement or, or, or willingness to compromise or to see each other uh, again, to... to, to uh, Agree to terms. Okay, that's the energy. And the problem is your overwhelming feelings about they're not showing up, they're not um, coming through, they're not keeping a promise, their unfaithfulness. Um, but these emotions are overwhelming and unbalanced, okay, on your end, Taurus. Um, or they're unbalancing what could uh, bring you some... Um, it's causing trouble for you. All right, your emotions are going to cause trouble for you. So, um, what do I read next? So, let me just uh, real quick bring out two extreme scenarios that I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing a, an extreme scenario of someone who is. Uh, worried about their partner um, leaving them or passing away and where they're going to be at financially in the future, their security. Um, they may not have enough without this person to stabilize their life. And so there's a fear of instability because of this relationship ending via those via the, that vehicle of there's a separation, a divorce, or death, okay? And another scenario I'm seeing is that someone um, may be kind of uh, in love worship, and, and it's probably you, Taurus, but it could be vice versa, in love worship with someone. You're worshiping someone, and it's unbalanced, um, this is the extreme scenario, other extreme scenario. And you think that they're the one. Why aren't they paying attention to you? Why aren't they reciprocating your love? And it's making you even more unbalanced. And so uh, that's, that's another extreme scenario I'm seeing playing out here. Okay, so be mindful of that if that's your story. Now, the obstacle or challenge you'll be facing or the influence that could help you is the Queen of Swords 
and the Lamika. I'm going to read the Queen of Swords is your energy. Lamika is their energy. It could be vice versa. Uh, Queen of Swords talks about um, an air sign person. It could be air sign, fire sign. So there could be some other person in the mix. Um, that may be what is challenging you. Maybe, um, Taurus, you believe this person that you're interested in is involved with someone else. Okay? That might be one of the things. Um, you want the truth, and you're demanding the truth, um, and you are perceiving, uh, looking deeply, probing deeply for honesty and truth, and I feel like they are giving you, uh, they're trying to be friendly and welcoming, to entertain you, but you're coming off harshly and cold. Um, you know, with your demands for truth, it's being perceived in a harsh, blunt, um, aggressive manner, and they're trying to be friendly, and um, they're giving you their reasons, right? But I feel like uh, you are more of questioning, penetrating, probing, and, um, and I don't think they like that. You're coming off very cold to them and um, kind of angry, and um, they 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 are giving you their reasons and and they're doing it in a very calm, poised way, um, easygoing, friendly way. That could be a tactic on their part, but that is how they're coming across. So I feel like you're kind of inquiring why why did you flake on me? Why did you why did you um not show up? Um what's going on? Where you been and what you doing? Type of energy coming from you, Taurus. And they're like, What? Me? Worry? No. Nothing's going on. Um, take it easy. Uh, they're giving you some reason. And you're trying to perceive if it's bullshit or not. So you're coming off very distrustful. This is the energy that I'm getting from these cards. I feel like they want to make things up with you, work things out with you. Um, but they feel like they can't because you won't hear it. You, you, um, you're not believing them. Um, but they want to push a reset button with you. Or reset a meeting or um, reset the date that was canceled um, they're giving you a reason why but you may not be believing it and they're beginning to see you as a, a, a harsh cold and unallowing kind of fixed and not receiving so um, hmm. these cards are also telling me that if that is the case that um, Okay, this is where it gets confusing because I'm seeing a lot of different scenarios here that play into the ones I just said. So let's go to singles. If you maybe made a date with someone, they're going to somehow it gets canceled, doesn't work out. You have all these different reasons why you think that uh, it didn't it didn't work out. Maybe they found someone else or they have someone else. Okay, and these might be um, confused feelings and not really very rational. And you need to be rational here with the Queen of Swords, but you're not being rational. And um, their excuse may be that uh, they had a friend um, in need or maybe a customer to attend to or something, work to do or something like that, and you're not believing it, all right? Um, and that might be the issue, and they're kind of seeing you as, you know, distrustful right now. That's the problem in the relationship. It's going to cause you trouble, these emotions. Uh, these scattered feelings are going to cause trouble in the relationship that was really good, all right? Um, and if it's a breakup or a divorce, maybe you guys set a meeting to meet, maybe with an arbitrator, a lawyer, um, counselor, therapist, maybe uh, in terms of healing, someone to heal the relationship, uh, like I said, a therapist or a doctor, but someone canceled, didn't show up, didn't make the effort or just couldn't get there um, and uh, 
either that's the challenge or um, or when you get to try to do it yourself it, it, it didn't work out and maybe this I think what this is saying is that you need someone to come in and help with this that um, you two can't see eye to eye and you need someone to help you with this if it's that you feel like you their partner betrayed you or has seen someone else you may be accusing them that of someone um, close to the to them is is the other person um, on the side so either their friend or your friend that may be the issue or the challenge to overcome and um, then in the extreme scenarios I hope I haven't lost you guys in the extreme scenario I just want to try and cover everybody everything that I'm seeing if you're kind of stalking someone you've you've come up with you you feel like this person is is your ideal but I feel like they're not reciprocating those feelings is getting too overwhelming you need to draw back okay um, they may be speaking to someone uh, legally about what to do uh, to create some distance maybe a restraining order and if that is your your story if you're honest with yourself if that is your story Taurus then this is um, what's needed to help the situation could be a counselor, a healer, a therapist you know to help you deal with your emotions that are a bit unbalanced Right, right, I'm just seeing that extreme story. And then um, if you're thinking your partner is going to leave you due to separation, divorce, or death, this may be that um, you need to maintain rationality, um, be honest and practical about your situation. You might need to get some counsel, support, therapy, see a lawyer, um, to finalize things to help you get clear clarity about the situation and about your future maybe you guys were if you're going through a divorce maybe you guys had set a meeting to come to terms about the divorce it did it won't work out so you may need an arbitrator someone to help um, negotiate for you or to um, make a will or to uh, becomes power of attorney. Um, I'm seeing all these scenarios here where legalities become involved so that you are supplied and supported and that might be the issue. There is um, right now you don't feel that right now someone in the relationship doesn't feel balanced and steady and um, that is what's needed so Okay. Your advice and counsel is um, the Nine of Wands and the Butterfly. So in any of these scenarios, your advice is that you're being very guarded and defensive. And like the Queen of Wands told us, um, That could be uh, one of the problems is your emotion is that you have this anticipation of the worst, um, this mistrust, um, which isn't rational. And so uh, if you're in a new relationship, this potentially great relationship is in jeopardy, is in jeopardy because of your guardedness, defensiveness, and, and, and distrust, and um, accusations. Um, if it is, and, and the butterfly is saying that you, this is, uh, this, the, the butterfly advises you to um, stop thinking superficial thoughts, uh, stop thinking things that aren't true or that are fantasy here with the seven of cups as your outcome and um, you're being too hard on someone either yourself or someone else 
and this is going to cause you trouble and cause you to miss out on a really good relationship so Taurus singles that's your message and an advice for Taurus is in a relationship I think you might be suspicious your partner is cheating on you as someone else you might be accusing them that this someone else is a friend of yours or their friend and I feel like this um, if this is your scenario this will lead to uh, your leaving or separating from this, this relationship and seeking a divorce um, so your counsel is to get that to get that see that lawyer so that you can feel more secure about your future um, so set up to, to come to terms or an agreement about alimony or support so that might be your scenario and that's what you're going to be dealing with in um, in March now if your relationship is hunky-dory and you're not unbalanced and this story isn't for you um, tarot readings aren't usually for uh, relationships that are great I mean if you want to uh, want a reading on your relationship that's great and perfect you probably have to get a, a personal reading Hmm. And then um, the advice in general is that an honest friend, counselor, or a therapist or lawyer may be of uh, great aid to you, Taurus, or to your partner in being able to see the truth or get clarity. It's just kind of repeating this again. Um, so uh, you should seek that help out before you do something reckless or make a decision that you regret. All right. That's your advice. The outcome cards are that, once again, you may be letting your thoughts fly away with you. Your emotions get the best of you. Your imagination or fantasy world um, is... Um, got you confused or scattered emotionally or mentally um, and not seeing things clearly and once again we have a card that points to the problem see how she's pointing hmm actually the priest is a male but I always see this card as a female this card can represent the law, a lawyer, um, it can represent a healer, a doctor, a priest. So it's kind of like just saying the same thing again um, to balance your situation. You may be needing these things so that you can have um, a more stable uh, emotional uh, and, and romantic uh, life Taurus and um, you need to do this quite quickly with the butterfly this is a brief time frame you need to like get on this whatever your situation is before uh, your um, your options fly away and um, for those of you that are starting something new um, you need to stop your crazy thoughts and use better judgment examine yourself and why you have this mistrust and get to the bottom of it and get some maybe get some help get some clarity okay so, Taurus, that's kind of the story that I'm seeing is that um, I think you're in your head and you're letting your emotions overwhelm you and your relationship. And uh, help is here for you. There is, there is, there is, uh, there is help available. But some of you may be um, expecting that help to come from uh, one place when it needs to come from another. All right, and um, that 
that those of you that are stalking someone, if you don't if you don't get it under control, you're gonna find yourself in trouble with the law, and maybe with a restraining order. So, um, wow, so many different scenarios here. Let me know if this resonated for any of you by uh, clicking the thumbs up or leaving your comments. And I hope you have a, a wonderful March. Uh, and I will talk to you guys in April. Blessings, Taurus. Bye-bye.